Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and finally, after months upon months of waiting and speculating and making news videos and discussion videos on topics that we don't have a ton of details for, Pokemon have officially announced a Pokemon Presents presentation for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Legends Arceus for next Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific. And as you can see by these tweets, I just want to point out that I broke the news on Twitter before Cerebi did, so I was two minutes early, the Japanese Pokemon YouTube channel is to thank for that. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the video. Now, a lot of people in the Pokemon community were starting to get... I would say a little bit worried in the fact that it had been so many months without any real information. We got release dates at the end of May and near the beginning of June for both games. And then in the Switch OLED trailer reveal, we got new footage of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Within that time frame, there were also updated screenshots on the Japanese eShop, all of which we covered. It's in the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl playlist on the channel. If you guys want to check that out, it is there for you. But... We didn't get any new trailers, we didn't get any new information of significance dropped, and now, next Wednesday, at 6 a.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. Eastern, on the Pokemon YouTube channel, we are getting a Pokemon Presents that is roughly going to be 28 minutes of brand new information about both titles. 28 minutes. For those of you who are not aware, there was a Nintendo, um, a Nintendo uh, Direct earlier this week for indie games, and it was about... 20 minutes, 23 minutes, and they managed to get like 20 different games in there, showing off gameplay and new information for all of them. And next week, we're getting 28 minutes specifically for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl and Legends Arceus. We're going to get a blowout. We're going to get at least a blowout for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and who knows what we're going to see for Legends Arceus. Both of these games are coming up real quick on the calendar. November is when Pokemon BDSP comes out, and January is when Legends Arceus comes out. It's going to be a good month. It's my birthday, you know. Just a little fun fact. Now, before we move any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them are not subscribed to the channel. Now, you can fix that by hitting the red subscribe button below. It's free. You can unsubscribe at any time, and it would do a ton to show me that you guys are enjoying these discussion videos and that you want to see more in the future. Of course, that also depends on how often we get Pokemon news, but, you know, it's a safe bet. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that button and fix that right now. But we're finally getting information, and it's great to know. It's great to see that I can start covering some real, you know, like, heavy-hitting, legitimate information on this channel because most of the videos of you guys have been watching for a couple months now have been just speculating on what would happen if they did this or they should do this. I don't like to cover leaks. That's the one thing that I've always said on my channel. I don't want to talk about. I don't want to cover them. And I've tried to shy away from it, even though it, it is good for clicks and it is good as a clickbait format to just cover every single 4chan leak and, and Reddit post and tweet from someone with sources, as a lot of Pokemon YouTubers do on this platform. But I want to bring you guys the real news. So this is really good. Now, what are we going to see? There's a lot of different ideas as to how much they could show us. I think two things are guaranteed, more so than almost anything. When it comes to Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, we're going to see essentially the scope of the game. With this Direct Presents next week, it, they've rebranded the Presents, but I still, I wish they were called Direct still. It's just, in my opinion, it's a much better name. We're going to get a blowout of this game in a way in which it's going to tell us what our expectations can be. And if you guys have watched for a while, you know that this is what I've been harping on for months. I am going to be excited for these games. I'm going to play these games. On top of just loving the basic Pokemon formula, I love the Sinnoh region. And they're not doing any inherent damage to the Sinnoh region as is. Which means, I'm not... Regardless of what we get, I'm not going to be disappointed. I just want to know where I can set my expectations. Is this a one-for-one -one remake? Are they giving us platinum content? I have a video coming out next week, hopefully, depending on if this presents changes things, where I was going to talk about what types of platinum content we could expect to see in this title. That's what we're going to see. We are going to get information that allows us to set our expectations appropriately and really have proper hype for what these remakes are going to be. I want to know what the Pokedex looks like. Are we going to get more Pokemon? Are we going to get a National Dex? Things like this. Things that are kind of important to the metagame of Pokemon and for the community as a whole. I think we're going to ultimately see in this trailer. It's August. We only have two and a half months, three months pretty much, 
until these games come out. We need to know what we're dealing with here. And it's also going to be interesting because I think this trailer is going to tell us a lot as to what we can expect the hype cycle to be like moving forward. If we get a major blowout of information, I think that they're going to stick with what their format has been up to this point, which is as little information frequently as possible. We might get one or two more trailers before release, but this is probably going to be the biggest one. If we get a trailer where we come out of it thinking, okay, this was good. We saw some really good things. We have a better appreciation and a better understanding for what these titles are going to bring, but we want to see more which I mean, we're going to think that regardless, but if it, there's a legitimate reason to think that, then I think it's fair to say that we're going to see them return to more of what they did during Sword and Shield and Sun and Moon, which is more frequent mini trailers showing very specific pieces of the game. And since they've kind of crunched their time frame for information, they're not going to blow out everything. So I think ultimately that's where we're going to get to see, and we'll have a video going into detail about what our reactions are to these trailers next week, of course. So if you guys are here and around, tune into the channel. We're going to have those videos. When it comes to Legends Arceus, however, it's a bigger question mark. It, it's going to be really interesting to see how they choose to approach this release and this reveal, because we've never really had two mainline, quote unquote, Pokemon games running and releasing at the same time before. This is uncharted territory for the franchise, especially when you have a game with the scale and the potential of Legends Arceus. I've done a ton of videos talking about the different mechanics and the different gameplay hooks that could be in this title that will allow Pokemon to take a step forward and really move into the future in a way that Sword and Shield lacked for a lot of players. The open world elements, the fact that we're going into a time period we've never played in before, the potential ability to change some of the core gameplay in terms of there probably won't be a PC. Where are you going to store your Pokemon? How many Pokemon are on a team? Uh, are are there other places to explore in the region besides just the starting village or is this a totally virgin landscape there is so much that we are going to learn in this trailer just by maybe the little bit that they give and if i had to give a prediction for what we're going to see for legends arceus i think the trailer is going to show us something it's gonna it's gonna have a nugget something that we can really latch on to something that's going to spur discussion and spur a new understanding of what this title is going to be but it's going to be on the smaller side. There's going to be a lot that we still have unanswered because I think they're planning for a longer release cycle. I mean, it's obvious this game is coming out further in the future, but I think we're going to get more consistent information for Legends Arceus than we're going to get for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, mostly because I think it's the game they have to sell more. Now, they're going to sell plenty of copies just based on the fact that it's the first real open world Pokemon game. And because it has a unique title, has a unique hook to it, it's very different from the typical adventure, at least on Facebook value. So that's already going to drive sales, but they need to reassure people on where the direction of this game is headed, which is why I think that of the two, Legends Arceus is the one where right now we're going to see less. And then as we get closer, we're going to see more. Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, as I mentioned before, might be the opposite. It might be a case where we see more right now, right up front, just to satisfy us. And then it's a much smaller drip to release because listen, it's brilliant. It's Diamond and Pearl. We know we just need some details ironed out. We know what the story is. We know what the what the the ultimate goal is. We know the gym leaders. We know the Pokemon in the region. We know the story of the evil team. We know what Cyrus's ambitions are. We know the use of the box art legendary. There's a couple questions as to platinum integration, which if you go by what Game Freak has said over the years now, the decades, platinum was the real proper Sinnoh game. It was the it was the refined version. Masuda has said it's almost the ultimate Pokemon game in a way, he said a couple times. So we know that platinum content should be there and we're going to get a scope and that's why i think that with brilliant diamond and shining pearl it's going to be a lot of bulk information now i have a feeling that and i could be wrong we'll see i have a weird feeling that most of this direct maybe not by much but most of this direct is going to be focused on brilliant diamond and shining pearl and giving us a bunch of information and then as we get closer to release it's a slower drip with that being said i would love to know what you guys think are you excited for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and Legends Arceus' trailers next week? Are you excited that we're finally getting some clarity from the Pokemon company as to what this hype cycle is going to look like with this announcement? And are you just excited in general? Do you have a preference? Are you more excited for Legends Arceus or are you excited for both? I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like because it does a ton to support me and it does a ton to show me that you guys want to see more videos like this in the future. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. It's going to be really exciting. Peace out.